Hello, uh, this is Infrastructure Leader Shankar Chandran here. Uh, you know, uh, I want to share with you uh, specifically topics related to coaching and mentoring. Don't get carried away with what you hear from the industry, right? Come forward and hear, hear what I am going to say and you will see a very different perspective. Uh, let me start. Uh, first, uh, tell you what coaching and mentoring is, right? Coaching is addressing performance related issues. So if you are lacking some skills because of which the performance is being impacted, that is coaching. So you probably what you do in that scenario, you go to your boss and say, hey boss, I have got this problem. Can I, can you help me? And he comes and helps you and says, okay, this is, this is, this is what you do. And that is addressing your requirement. You're a much better person. That is coaching. But the reason, uh, the difference is that he helps you meet that requirement and he's gone. He's just gone. But look at the mentor. A mentor is someone who actually comes back and he sticks to you, right? He, he understands you as a whole person, not just trying to address your you know, performance issue, but he tries to tell you, you know, as you as a personnel, this is what you can do to improve your posture, your ability to speak, you know, this area is big for you. He tries to shield you as a better person, right? And, you know, so he's going to be sticking with you because at every stage of life, you win. I think it's about the mentor who actually is trying to coach you. Now, having given this definition, why do you think practically people are not, uh, you know, uh, you know, influencing this or not practicing this? Because you know, the, the society says coaching and mentoring is for candidates or people who have failed in the industry and they they're losers. No, absolutely no. I, I would disagree with it. For people who have failed in the industry, please, you know, don't assume it, right? There are two parts to it, right? You can be a different person. You want to be a different person. You want to be, you want to improve your performance. That also is related to coaching and mentoring, right? So don't just throw that away from your mind and try to come forward and say, well, that's, that's absolute nonsense and I want to get this, right? Now, the first thing you will have to do when you come out of this mindset is to you know, boldly go back and say, I want mentoring and go to a person and say, hey, you know what, can you coach me? Like, can you be my mentor? That's a positive step you as an individual are taking to take up your first time towards the next high performing career. Now, leaders, <laughs> you know, we have been in this industry with so much of experience, right? Now, the little that we'll have to do is actually to go back and give it back to the society, right? I guess we owe that, right? We have, we have learned things a very hard way and we have to give it back to the society because we obviously don't want them to face the same situation that we have gone through in the last few years. My, my request to you is come forward. If you get to a situation where someone comes and says, can you be my mentor? Come forward and say, I will with a bold and a shrewd noise, take that. Take that as an opportunity. Don't sit back and say that I'll think and come back. I'm sorry, uh, gentlemen, leaders, that's the first thing that you should come out of it. Volunteer. No moment you volunteer, you see the whole things around the world will change and the people who will change, the environment, the culture, society, everything will change and you have made it. You have made it, right? Now this video is uh, you know, specifically addressing uh, for people uh, you know, and the leaders related to coaching. My request to you is at least you, know, you can change this world with this thing and all the best. Thank you.